price update single store. From the main screen in the upper menu, click on inventory. Under inventory, we're going to click on price update. From the price update screen, we're going to select download and download Big O Corp tires. We're going to download Big O Corp tires, yes. This download will take some time, so please be patient as it loads. Once the price download has completed, you'll be able to see the supplier part number, manufacturer part number, description, new cost, new MSRP, old cost, old MSRP, the brand or line code, the subline, and the pop code. On the far right, you have check boxes under the add column that allow you to add the part numbers into your inventory file. So I select not in inventory. I can select these part numbers one by one to add them. Or I'm going to subline and select it by subline. Or I can go and select it by pop code. So I have all the top 50% or A pop codes, the B pop codes, the C pop codes, as well as the D pop codes already in our system or in, in our inventory file. I click on the new numbers. I can go over here to, to uh, check all underneath the add check parts inventory button. I click check all and I'll click the add parts inventory button. Now, if I was just adding one line, let's say for example, like the Michelin Defender 2 line, and I was gonna stock that line, I would click stocked. I don't wanna stock every single one of these part numbers. I don't even know how many there are here. I'm just gonna click on non-stock. So it goes into my inventory file. I can modify it then, or from the tire lookup screen, I am able to actually click on vendor, primary vendor check all, and see what they have in stock, no matter what the part number is. So in this case, I'm just gonna click non-stock. It quickly adds all those part numbers to the system. And now I'm ready to go. Um, in the lower left-hand corner, I can actually change the different price levels from here. For example, if I wanted to take my current price file, take the retail, I wanna lower the price by 10% for a wholesale customer, maybe a jobber, do the price level three for wholesale or job, whatever it may be that we're doing, I am able to do that right here in this screen. Configure auto updates should be turned on, so that way all of these will update as you download your new items. So if the mileage warranty were to change mid-run on a Sumitomo P03, for example, it would automatically change that you don't have to worry about going into the, the, into any of the uh, part numbers and, and finding it and then changing it in the, in the inventory file. I'd recommend having those on. I'm just gonna update the cost only because I don't wanna change anything in our test store here. Depending on how many part numbers that you have to have updated, it may take a, a few minutes to run this price file update. In this case, it was very quick. And we're all done. The price file is complete.